Hey everyone, today I have seven outfits. Okay, I have eight. I have a bonus date night outfit for you, so watch all the way to the end to see that one. But I have seven everyday casual outfits, basically a week's worth of casual looks for you. If any of these look familiar, it's because you are already following me on Instagram. Now, I appreciate if you are a follower here and there, thank you so much. But even if you've seen these before, we're gonna go a little more in depth on them, discuss them a little bit. And if you don't wanna jump over to Instagram, while I would love it if you did, because we have a lot of fun over there, I share a lot more personal stuff, little glimpses into my daily life, updates on sales that I can do more easily over there. I would love it if you'd find me over there. But if you don't, it's why I bring some stuff over here as well. And today's video is partially sponsored by Chico's. Thanks Chico's for that. If you aren't aware, I am a Chico's ambassador. I love their clothes. I think they have great finds, everything from casual to more dressy, fabulous travel items. But today we're gonna to cover some of my more favorite casual pieces. So let's start with the two piece options. Basically a variation on a t-shirt and jeans. And do remember that all of the things that I'm gonna mention in the order in which I describe them here are listed out in the description box with the links for more information or to shop, sizing and prices. And to make it easier for you to find all that, I've also copied that whole description box and pasted it to the top of the comments as well. If there's some information I haven't covered in there, do not hesitate to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Okay, back to the actual outfits. Let's start with basic black and white. So there are a handful of fabrics that I think are essential for a summer wardrobe. Linen, poplin, gauze, maybe some French terry, those sorts of things. Well, if there's something that Chico's does incredibly well, it's actually all four of those fabrics, but the first we're gonna talk about is linen. So this basic black and white outfit features two of the things Chico's actually does very well. Linen, I love the flutter sleeve top, and denim. So let's focus on the denim first. These cropped white denim jeans, is that redundant? These cropped white jeans are the hero piece of the next several outfits. It's kind of an essential summer closet staple to have some sort of white denim. I particularly love these because they are a wider leg style and the material is so lightweight, thin without being like see-through. Like when I say thin, that has a negative connotation, but during the summer when it is 100 degrees outside, to me, thin is essential and soft. It feels like the most buttery soft fabric you can possibly imagine. So I love these cropped white jeans, but I'm aware that not everybody loves cropped. So I just want you to imagine if you wanna recreate any of the next few looks, swap these out for my other go-to pair of white jeans, happen to be from Chico's same luscious buttery fabric, the No Stain Girlfriend Style, I will have both of those linked below. So I'm thinking of those of you who are a little more open to some different silhouettes and some of you who would prefer something with a little more length or a little more of a traditional look. Back to the linen flutter sleeve top. While this top does come in several other colors, I think basic black is a must have. I like the embellishment of the ruffles here, but I like that they're not just stacked on top of each other on the shoulders because some of us have slightly wider shoulders and we don't need a linebacker look. So this is a much more wearable way to wear the ruffle trend. I am partial to a V-neck. I think it is a very flattering neckline on most people. And I do wanna point out, Chico's does linen very, very well, but you have to treat it well. So I wash all of my linen pieces in the washing machine on cold or on the gentle cycle, but I never ever put it in the dryer. If you put linen in the dryer, you're gonna have doll size clothing. So just keep that in mind, machine wash cold, hang or lay flat to dry. And just some really basic, barely there slide sandals. You can wear this outfit, this casual outfit, just about anywhere you're going in an everyday setting. And I feel like you could even dress it up a little bit if you happen to just you know, add a nicer bag and obviously swap out the shoes for something maybe with a heel. Now, sticking with linen, I have another linen option for you. You have seen this before. This was my top seller in June, by the way. This is the ruched sleeve linen tee. I had it in green, I still have it. 
I got it again in this beautiful blue. It does come in quite a few other colors as well. Again, if you just look at it very critically, it's just a basic t-shirt and jeans, but it's those little details that kind of bring it up a little bit. So the ruching on the sleeves makes it a little more interesting. The length of the sleeves is key if you'd like a little more upper arm coverage, but you don't want you know anything too long because it is still warm outside. So I love the length of this. Same white jeans. Again, consider swapping them out for the other ones if you prefer a more traditional silhouette. And then to make things a little bit fun, how fun is this belt bag? I love the deep navy color, the gold hardware. It has an adjustable sort of belt bag strap you could wear as a crossbody like I'm doing. You could wear it over your shoulder. It also detaches so you could carry the bag by the little gold chain and kind of dress it up a little bit. And I did decide to dress it up a little bit by wearing it with strappy wedge kind of espadrille shoes. I can tell you that when I wore this, I felt put together. I felt really comfortable. All the fabrics are really soft and easy to wear. And just a little, like, I felt like it looked like I put more effort into it than I really did. I mean, it's like I said, it's just a t-shirt and jeans. And then the last of the outfits that revolve around these white jeans is a little bit nicer because of the more dramatic sleeve and the material. So I mentioned some of my hero materials that I love that Chico's happens to do exceptionally well. And this one is poplin. So I love blue and white paired together. And I'm not just talking about the blue at the top and the white jeans. I'm talking about the white embroidery on the sleeves, around the neckline. I love the puff sleeve and a little bit of drama with the embroidery on the sleeve and the cuffs. But again, it's not too much. It's all very wearable and very comfortable. There's nothing over the top about it. This would be a great outfit to wear at a dinner with friends or a lunch with friends. It's casual enough to wear just around everyday stuff. If you're in a super casual, business environment where you can wear jeans to work. This would work there. It's very, it can be very professional. I will tell you if you've ever had that experience of sliding into a really nice hotel bed with those beautiful high thread count cold sheets, that's what it feels like when you wear poplin in the summer, which is another reason why I absolutely love this shirt. And I should say all of this is running true to size and I'll put more outfit notes down in the description box as far as how fit goes. Wearing it with those strappy sandals again, I love them. They are so, so very comfortable. And I feel like they dress up an outfit without trying too hard. Outfit idea number four. So I love loungewear. I love loungewear that looks nice enough to wear out of the house. I don't know if this outfit is technically considered loungewear, but putting it on my body, I certainly feel like it is. This two-piece, very, very fine gauge knit set is Great for so many things. It's great for travel. It's great for just running around town. It's definitely suitable for loungewear. One of you reached out to me and said you had a casual business event that you were attending and you were wondering if you could if this outfit could work. I think depending on your handbag and your shoes, 100%. It does come in other colors, but I love this really light beige with the black trim. And then I brought out that black trim by just throwing on those black slides that you've seen before and a faux leather black tote bag. You could certainly dress it up with, again, maybe a shoe that has more of a heel to it, a smaller bag. I have a road trip coming up soon. I'm definitely wearing this in the car. I am just under five foot four. I mean, I'm trying to sit up straight, but I'm five, three and three quarters. And I do get a lot of you more petite ladies wanting to know outfits like this is, can you wear it? I can't say for sure. If you're five foot tall and I'm five foot four, it's not just that the pants may be four inches longer on you. I don't know if your legs are longer than mine or your torso is longer than mine. I will say I've heard from a couple of you that are right around five, one, five, two, that you found it very easy and wearable to just fold over the waistband. I'm looking down if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm looking at the photo that you're seeing. So you could do that or you could add heels so you have a little more room to play with there. I just wanted to put it out there. I understand how hard it is to find petite sizing in all the things. Chico's does have petite sizing. They have tall sizing on some things too. This particular one is not from Chico's and it just runs standard sizing. I have it in a size small. The pants are pull on. They don't have pockets. The top that comes with it is a high-low hem. What I love about this outfit is, while obviously it works very nicely together, I could see wearing the top over black pants. I could see wearing the pants with a black sweater. You can mix and match and get a little more wear out of this as well. But regardless of where or how you're wearing it, I think it looks super elegant. 
but it feels like you are wearing pajamas. Now I do have a few outfit suggestions that revolve around dresses. And what I love about dresses, especially in the summer, well, first of all, it's one piece of clothing and it's a whole outfit. You're one and done, ready to walk out the door. Just add shoes and accessories. The other thing is I am dealing with some super hot temperatures. This dress is gonna come up in the discussion in a little bit. And I love a dress because it's flowy and breezy and it's just, it's just easier to wear when it's really, really, really hot outside. So I have a few casual ideas that you can consider when you're putting together some outfit ideas. So first is this gorgeous gauze dress from Chico's. Remember those fabrics I was talking about? Gauze was on the list. This is one of them. White dresses are super, super popular right now. Over on the LTK app, I do get some intel and one of the most searched for items on the LTK app is a white dress. So if you're looking for one, I think this is a very wearable option. I love the V-neck. Obviously I love the gauze material. It has pockets. I like that it's a slightly shorter length right about at the knee without being too short. So it's very comfortable. And if you don't like it in white, it also comes in black. It does run true to size. I'm wearing it in a size zero small. And just to keep it pretty casual, I did not add anything with height. I'm wearing these corded sandals that again, should look familiar because I have them in green and I love them so much. I got them again in this sort of darker beige color. They're really comfortable. They are from Chico's. I know people think of Chico's for clothing, but I gotta tell you their accessories and their shoes are where they really shine. Probably the most overlooked place to get the best shoes and accessories. So go check out those shoes. And the nice thing about Chico's is that once you know what shoe size you are, and I say their shoes run true to size, I'm generally size seven, across the board I'm a size seven in all their shoes. I've never had a pair of shoes not fit. Sorry for the double negative. If you wanna dress this outfit up a little bit more, obviously add some heels, carry a nicer handbag, zhuzh up the hair, but I just love the casual breezy feel. I feel like I'm on vacation in this dress. I'm standing on my driveway, which is the farthest thing from it. Let's throw in a little athleisure. So I recently shared this outfit over on Instagram, this dress. So this dress is from Athleta and I say it's athleisure because the material is made out of like a recycled plastic. And so it feels like a dry fit material that you see more in athletic wear. So it's flowy, it's drapey, it's moisture wicking, it's quick drying, which probably should have worn that today instead of this dress. We'll talk about where I was today and why I still recommend this dress. But so if you are outside and the humidity has gotten to you and you feel like you're walking through pea soup, it will dry quickly. Now it has pockets as you can see. What I love about this dress is it comes in petite, regular, and I believe tall lengths as well. I'm wearing mine in a regular. I'm technically a petite girl. My legs are a little bit longer, so I don't mind a little bit more length in a dress, but if you're more of a true petite person and your legs are proportional, you might wanna consider the petite. I like the full maxi dress length on this one. It has pockets as you can see. Now it does have a crisscross back, so I wanna talk about what bra. Because this feels like athleisure, I'm totally fine with wearing a traditional racerback sports bra in a matching or contrasting color and, and let it be seen. I, I think this kind of dress works that way. The other option and what I'm actually wearing is still considered a sports bra and it's super hard to find. I'm trying to find the links for you. It's the same as this bra. They are the Fruit of the Loom strappy cotton sports bras and they come in a, in a regular tank style and then they also come in the racerback. The tank style that I have on with this dress, super easy to find. The racerback, not so much. So I'll put in the description box the one place that has very limited sizing. If y'all can find them anywhere, please let me know. I found them on Amazon. Walmart sometimes carries them if you can find a dupe. We need to source this together because these are summer must-haves. If you really want to keep it sporty, throw on some white sneakers or any kind of sneakers these days with it. I like a sandal, those barely there sandals that I was sharing before in black. Same sandals as you saw before. I have them in the nude beige color as well. I don't think I mentioned that if periwinkle is not your thing, this does come in at least one other solid and some prints as well. And it does run a little bit big, so I'm an extra small in this dress. Usually I'm more of a size small kind of girl. Okay, farmer's market time. Let's talk about this dress. I decided to keep things really real. So the whole focus of this video is everyday casual outfits you really wear or I really wear in real life 
real outfits, real style for real women. See the theme here? Okay, so I really went to the farmer's market this morning, the day that I'm filming this. I really sweated through my bra <laughs> and some of this dress, the makeup stayed on. So I will link below the makeup, pretty impressed. I'm wearing waterproof bronzer actually and an amazing setting spray. And I think that had a lot to do with it. As far as the actual outfit of the day, I do love this dress. I do think it is great for summertime. I love that these straps are adjustable. There is a button in the back inside so you can shorten it or make it a little bit longer which I think is a really nice feature. I love the tiers. This is a true maxi dress. It does have pockets, comes in a bunch of colors. Again, with the bra, you could do strapless. If I can find ways to avoid strapless, honestly, I do. So this is the bra I'm wearing. It really just looks like, it doesn't look like a bra. It looks like a, a little camisole that's cut off. So is it gonna give you the best support in the world? No, but if you're good with, I'd say medium to light support, this is fantastic. It's not lined, so if you're concerned about that, I'm talking about the bra, not the dress. The dress is not lined either, but if you're concerned about the bra not being lined, then I do recommend those nippies that I use all the time. I didn't wear them today. I'll link them below. And then as far as accessories go, obviously I was gonna be out walking around looking at the farmer's market, so I wore my roll up. Sun visor, it actually has UPF 50 built in as well. Kept it simple with some little pearl dangles. A crossbody bag is definitely essential at the farmer's market. Mine is a bucket bag that is very inexpensive and they just released it in black and a sage green as well. And then these sporty slides that looking at them, I could have worn with pretty much any of the outfits that I shared with you previous to this. So those are a great find for the summertime. And I also wanna point out those sunglasses that I'm wearing, they're polarized. They're like a plastic resin, so they're really, really lightweight. They're under $20 and I didn't sweat under them like I normally do when I'm wearing glasses or sunglasses in extreme heat because they were so lightweight. And I have not touched up my hair or my makeup and I think it held up really well. So shout out to Tarte Waterproof Bronzer and Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, I said seven outfits. I'm gonna give you a bonus one. This date night outfit, I cannot believe I am wearing a short skirt, a mini dress, if you will. I can't even remember the last time I shared a picture of myself in a dress above the knees, let alone something this short. Why am I wearing it? Well, I kind of had an epiphany. I was looking at some pictures of myself as I do in this job, a lot of pictures of myself. And I realized that while I do carry more of my weight in my legs and it makes me more self-conscious, covering them up with a lot of fabric doesn't really fool anybody. Like it actually adds sometimes visually to that part of my body. And so I was trying on some older stuff, some, some dresses that were a little bit shorter and I realized that maybe actual shorter skirts could make my legs look thinner. I think combining a slightly shorter dress, obviously with a heel to elongate the legs. And for me, the self-confidence is a fake tan in a bottle. I think I'm, I know, I don't think I know, I'm going to revisit my stance on shorter dresses. Now, I realize that wearing shorter dresses is out of the comfort zone for a lot of you. I feel like we're all here together because we have similar taste in clothing. But the tagline of my channel is real style, for real women and real women struggle. That is a long drawn out, not very well thought out way of saying, if you're struggling with how you look in something, change it up, go out of your comfort zone, try something new, you might be surprised. I was surprised. I actually feel like my legs look longer and thinner than they actually are in a shorter dress than they do in some of the maxi dresses I've shared. So am I gonna start wearing mini dresses every day or mini skirts? No, I am not. But I am now open to the idea of trying some different lengths when it comes to skirts and dresses. Okay, I also do think that there is something to be said about a little color on, on the legs. Doesn't hurt either. Anyway, as far as this dress goes, this is more of the exaggerated ruffling on the shoulders. Again, I know it is not for everyone, but I feel like it brought the attention maybe away from the legs and brought them up closer to here. I love the neckline. It does come with those annoying ties that I immediately cut off before I even put it on. It's nice to see that this dress has pockets. I think that should be a law. It should be a federal law. Congress needs to convene and pass that. All dresses should have pockets. I dressed this up a little bit. It was date night. So I'm wearing my clear strap espadrilles and I pulled out my little rattan 
pearl handle bag. I love this bag. It fits everything I need, even my big old iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max, so that fit in there as well. And then those sunglasses are from the same brand as what I wore today at the farmer's market, and they are polarized, I believe. Mm, yeah, they're polarized, and they are right around $15, so they are a great buy. And I love pearls, but I wanted something just to go with, you know, more of the bigger, you know, the bigger print, the ruffles, so I went with big oversized pearl hoops too. So that's my roundup of some very, very wearable outfits, plus one bonus one that is definitely out of my comfort zone. I would love to hear from you. Would you wear any of these outfits? Do you have any of these pieces already? What are your go-to looks for summertime? And thank you to Chico's for sponsoring part of this video. Always a pleasure to work with you. Cannot wait to read your comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.